Hello and welcome back to DickinsonDulcimer.com's instruction videos. This video is part of a series of 40 instruction videos presented by DickinsonDulcimer.com. You can watch the videos free on your computer or you can order them on DVD. Go to DickinsonDulcimer.com for details. And while you're there, please check out all the free sheet music under the instruction tab. You can download it for free. Also, you can check out my best-selling Hammered Dulcimer Instruction Manual, which you can order right there on the home page. Now, on these tune videos, we will learn songs by learning the A part and the B part two measures at a time. Once I show you the two measures, the screen will go black for three seconds with the measure numbers of the next passage. You can put your computer or video player on pause while you practice. And you can use these measure numbers to quickly find a particular part of the tune you want to work on. So here we go. Today we're going to learn an Irish reel called St. Anne's Reel. This is uh, one that you need to learn for a couple of reasons. First, it's fun to play. And also, it will often turn up at jams and festivals. And when it does, you want to, you'll want to know how to play it. And we're going to play St. Anne's Reel in the key of D. Now this is the D box here, beginning with this D note on the bottom right corner of the D box, and going up four notes. You'll recall on our, former, on our, our previous videos, four notes here and four notes here. This is the D box. But we're going to learn almost this entire tune using these D note scales that are above the D box. We're going to use these notes above this D box here, and then the right side of the treble bridge, the D note scale here. You can see these notes on pages 45, 46, and 62 in the instruction manual. Now let's begin by learning the introduction to the song. There are many ways to begin Irish reels. We're going to play this one with what many fiddle players call potatoes. We're going to play this D note here. Now remember this is the D box and this is a D note here on the bottom right corner, but there's a D note also in the top left corner. In this D scale, This is a D note and we're going to begin by using this note and we're going to play again what uh, many fiddle players call potatoes. And what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, both of our hammers on this D note and we're going to play and this is what it will sound like. Here's how you play that. You play first of all a note with right hammer and then a series of four notes beginning with left hammer and alternating notes. It sounds again like this. I'm playing right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right. Play that over and over until you're comfortable with it and can play it at a moderate speed. You'll want to play it just about this speed to learn this song. Later on you'll play it uh, a little faster, but for purposes of the video you want to play it about this speed. That's the introduction. Now let's learn the first two measures of the A part. Now throughout these videos I have stressed the importance of playing downbeats with right hammer. There are exceptions to that rule and we will see one of them in this passage. We begin with the first beat of the song using right hammer on this F sharp here. Now notice at the end of the passage, when I get to the end of the passage, you'll notice that I play one of the downbeats with left hammer. But here is the passage. These are the first two measures. Let me play that again. Now 
this note here that I played, I played as a downbeat, I played with left hammer. Let's look at the downbeats. I played right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and that's a downbeat. Now, some hammer dolls for players who want to always play all downbeats with right hammer uh, will play it this way. They'll play So they went from here, here, but to me it's simpler to simply make an exception here and play this downbeat with left hammer by playing. So learn this passage. And you will have learned the first two measures. Now remember before moving to the next passage that you should play each passage over and over at least 20 times until you can play it at a moderate speed. This is how you develop muscle memory or what I call hammer muscle memory. Then you move to the next passage. Now the next passage Passage number three is playing the introduction and measures one and, two, one and two together. So let's play the intro and the first two measures together because it's important to learn songs not only by learning the passages, but by also learning to play the passages together in sequence so that you learn the passages and how they uh, sound and play together. Your muscle memory uh, is just as important in learning to play one passage after another as it is in learning to play each, each passage. So let's learn passage number three, which is the first two measures, uh, the intro and the first two measures. Here we go. Now let's learn measures three and four. One more time, a little bit slower. Now let's play the introduction and measures one through four. Now measures five and six are the same as measures one and two, so they're pretty easy. Measures five and six are So now let's play the introduction and measures one through six.
Now let's learn measures 7 and 8, which are the last two measures of part A. And you'll notice I played one of the downbeats with my left hammer. You can do it with right hammer if you like. Once again, slowly. Now that you have learned the introduction and the A part, let's play the introduction and the A part together at a moderate speed. Uh, after you've practiced it a good bit, you should be able to play it at a moderate speed. So here we go. The introduction and the A part at a moderate speed. Now let's move to the B part. Here are the first two measures of the B part. We've been playing down here. We've been playing down here, but we're going to move up to here to begin the B part. Here are the first two measures. Let me play it once again, very slowly. You'll notice I alternated hammers, beginning with the right hammer up here. Practice that those first two measures of the B part over and over, uh, playing them at least 20 times until you can play them at a moderate speed. Now let's learn this, the second two measures, measures three and four of the B part. Let me do them again, those two measures again slowly. Now let's play measures one through four of the B part. Now measures five and six of the B part are the same as measures one and two of the B part. They are Now let's play the B part measures one through six. Notice here I'm playing these two notes together. You don't have to. You can just play that, but I like to add this harmony note. So let me start again.
Now let's learn measures 7 and 8 of the B part, which concludes the B part. Now let's play the entire B part at a slow speed. Now I'm going to play the introduction and then part A and then part B. Now remember when you normally play the song, such as at a jam, they'll always play the A part twice and then the B part twice. But for learning purposes, I'm going to play the intro and then the A part once and the B part once very slowly. Here we go. Now finally we're going to play the intro, the A part, and the B part at a moderate speed and after you practice this a while you should be able to play St. Anne's Reel at this moderate speed. So here we go. And again I'm going to play the A part and B part one time each and uh, remember that normally if you're in a jam or playing with some other players uh, after you learn the song you'll play the A part twice and then the B part twice. But we're just going to do it once now for learning purposes. Intro, A part, B part. Once again, a little bit faster. Thank you for joining us for DickinsonDulcimer.com's free instruction videos. You can watch all of these videos free on your computer or you can order them by DVD. Uh, go to DickinsonDulcimer.com for details and while you're there, please check out all the sheet music under the instruction tab which you can download free. And you can also check out my best-selling hammer dulcimer instruction manual which you can order right there on the home page. Until next time, this is Jess Dickinson saying, Keep practicing and have fun.